How's it going guys? Hope y'all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 20, Episode 44. Now, towards the ending of the previous episode, Togil has closed in on Knut. Knut and his army unaware that Togyol is literally behind their asses. Now, let's just hope that Omar will come through because whatever task he's been given, that task got to be very, very important, not just on Togyol, but also the whole entire Keto's army. So, without further ado, Let's check out the next episode and see what took place. Whose story is this? Could this be Tofin? Tofin's voice? It doesn't sound like it. Oh, the other guy. One of Snake's men. <clears throat> They're being massacred. And they are intimidated right now. They are losing their morale. Their morale has been shaken. Godmund. Is he peeing? Did he just pee on himself? Soy! Snake wants them to fall back. He wants them to retreat. A lot of them has been massacred, man. They're so relieved to be retreating. Mm. Ketil is not happy that his men are retreating. You better... You better retreat yourself as well. Let the man go, Kettle Man. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I like this guy. It's 
somehow he's speaking reality into Keto's eyes or into Keto's ear. Ooh, no, 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 no. Soy. Wait, did they cut his head off? Or did he dodge that attack but lost his helmet somehow? Meanwhile, Meanwhile, Togil is close enough. Here he goes. Woo! Here he comes. <laughs> wow! Just in that moment, just in that particular scene we got hit with a cliffhanger or the intro kicks in i mean they could have uh wagged this hopefully they continue it exactly where they left off i hope they continue it from where it left off and the way it looks it looks like he's going to take Canute's head like I mean what could stop him at this point he's so close to Canute he has closed in so well you know because in that position and the way Canute's body positioned there's no way he could defend himself fast enough not to get hurt or not to get you know killed at this point because this is the attack that you don't see coming and those are the ones that 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 are very deadly and damaging what happens now subarashi excellent He dodged it. Sui! Wow, he broke his sword with that swing. Mm. And you know Togil is not the type to show mercy. He tackles him down. Ooh, he's gonna play dirty. That got to hurt. All that got to hurt. And that's Togil's best arm. 
That's his right hand, all right? They stab his right hand. He flee. <laughs> now they're all falling back. Wait, is that? Yes. So the Sion, it is Togil indeed. That was a close one. What about Kittle? He's still alive. Damn, both sides has retreated at least for now. Both sides has retreated. Oh, Anaheim is up. Yes, they are fighting. So you guys haven't left yet? You're leaving, but you haven't left yet. I thought they would be, okay, they're actually on their way, but I'm not sure if they've gone that far. And if Keto realizes what is going on, he will do everything in his power to chase them down I'm not going. Mm. Now waiting for me. Wow. She no longer wants to live. She wants to go to her husband. Because the life she lives is not bringing her any joy or happiness. Is this, is this, is she about to die or whatever? Mm. 
Yeah, that's right. Because I saw God uh, holding it. Wow. And going on living. Wow. Yes, I noticed God uh, holding a baby. I mean, Erna, if you love her, this will be the time for you to tell her that you love her. If you really want to be with her, this is a time for you to let her know. Just let her know. There you go, huh? He's still trying to resuscitate her, huh? This is very, very emotional, man. She's gone. She is gone. And in that particular time, here comes. So they haven't really left. Oh, Enar is mad. He can't hear you. He's unconscious. Soy. Oh. He's in rage. He's in rage. Soy.
Tolfin had to bring him back to his senses, man. Man, if he had gotten hold of Kettle, he would have killed him. He would have kept whooping him, kept punching him until he dies. He almost went on. He, he, he almost went into Super Saiyan rage mode right there. What a touching episode, man. What happens now? Are they departing? Are they still going to depart from this place or are they staying? going back I'm going to see Knut whoa Tamono. Really? He's that confident. He's still going.
What an episode, yo. What an episode, guys. I think this particular episode got to be in the top four to top five of this season. And you guys know that this season has spawned out many beautiful episodes. So it's going to be tough to rate this particular episode. It's going to be a tough one. And something tells me that as this episode or as this season drives on, it's going to be even tougher to rate the episodes because each episode holds a deep meaning to it that separates it, right? That separates it from the previous episodes. What Tofen is about to do, I'm not sure how you guys feel about it. Do you think it is a noble thing to do? Or do you think that Tofen should have used this opportunity to escape? Preview. Courage. Do you guys think that what Tolfin is about to do, that he shouldn't have done it at this particular time? After laboring so much, after fighting so much, the time that he has to be peaceful or to go away in peace and go live his own life peacefully, with his best friend, Aina. You know, the time to pack up, leave all that war, all that stress, go back to Iceland and just live the rest of your life without any trials, tribulations, despair, war, all this chaos. Right? Leave it alone. But he wants to do something noble. I'm not sure how this conversation is going to work out. I'm not sure how Tolfin will, I mean, how Knut will see or listen what he's about to say. Knowing the fact, I'm not sure if Tolfin is aware that Togil, Ketu's first son, attacked Knut and almost beheaded Knut. Beat up Knut, laid his head hands on the king not only that took out one of his took out two of his guards and plucked the right eye of one of Knut's generals either way Knut is not going to see this nothing but um, a challenge nothing but um, you know insolence you know Although he is as calm as ever, Knut is really not the type to blow up his anger and lose his focus from what he should be focusing on. He is the type to really know, he kind of understands his shortcomings and use what he has to his own advantage. He's a very conniving idiot. He's a very conniving character. So I'm not sure what Tolfin will say to Knut to change his mind from here on out. I'm not sure. Because especially losing this amount of men, at least he could at least replenish what he has lost by taking Kato's fam farm because that's what he's here for. Anyways. Now, Aina will definitely be behind Tofen, whatever Tofen's decision is, Einar will be there to support him. But at this point, I feel like if it's not for Tofen trying to bring Einar back to his senses and tried as much as he could to not allow Einar go into that place that afflicted Tolfin for years, that afflicted him so much that 
he will have nightmares and his nightmares are so terrible so bad that he will almost be like you know he's actually experiencing these things in real life which he is actually in real life so Tolfin tried as much as he, as he could to bring Einar back and not allow him to go to that place which I, th I think I, I will give him props for that and he dying I didn't see it coming I did not see that one coming at all I thought that and he would end up some way somehow getting out of this farm and living the rest of our life with Canute you know have them and Tofin creating their own place in Vinland land Vinland saga area or whatever uh, because Tofin keeps mentioning this he keeps talking about it far far a uh, far place you know there is uh, a land where the flame of war haven't gotten to uh, there is is plentiful it blossoms you know we can repopulate that area without any problems and there will be no war and it will be peaceful you know he keeps mentioning this place i thought that that's where him ina and he maybe his uncle and the other tofin that he brought with him will end up going but i think uh that dream has been cut short um ina would definitely would definitely be very spiteful each time or resent uh ketul each time he sees him for beating and hit so much that not only did she lost his unborn child or her unborn child but she died in the process as well and and he knowing that the child she has in her womb is already gone that also impacted her giving up hope not wanting to live anymore because all her life or most of her life she has experienced nothing but chaos despair you know bad things has happened to her so she might as well go to her husband where their two children are there waiting for her and if only she Aina expressed himself. Do you think? Okay, here's a, another question. Do you guys think? Feel free to let me know if you guys think that if or had Aina expressed himself on how he felt towards Anhid in that particular moment when she woke up and she was asking where are they going, that she can hear the screams of war. She has experienced it before. Where are they taking her to? You know, and Tofin's uncle explained it to her where they're going. Had Aina expressed his love to her, and especially the moment where Anhid said, There's nothing for me to live for anymore. The child that I had in my womb is already with my husband, Gada, and my other son. There's nothing for me here. There's nothing waiting for me here. Had, do you think, had Aina expressed himself, his love, how he feels towards her? And most importantly, when she was telling Aina, I enjoyed our morning chats. I enjoyed the chats that we always have. It was one of the best things that, that has ever happened to me ever since I departed away from my husband, ever since I've been in this farm talking to you listening to your stories listening to your i know you know just listening to you and chatting with you everything that we have experienced here i really enjoyed it had Aina expressed how he felt in that particular moment because they're already leaving the farm anyway had he expressed how he felt or how he feels i think that Anhid would have hold on to that love and that love would have given him strength, right? I mean, that love would have given Anhid the strength that she needs to recover, to recuperate, and once again, bounce right back where she can be happy again. Because they were already leaving. And had he expressed himself, Anhid accepting his love towards her, holding on to that, that once they get out of here, they will go build a new place together 
I believe that Anne Heath could have survived, even though that she has suffered a lot of uh, injuries and the child in her womb is possibly dead, you know, they could have found a way to get that child out once she recuperates enough, you know, allowing, um, you know, her and uh, Aina to further their relationship, you know, to, to, to a better place, in a better position. I think she would have lived. But Aina didn't express himself when he should have. I think she could have lived had he expressed himself, right? That's what I think. But feel free to let me know what you thought, what you think about the whole episode, and this particular episode. What do you think about it? Obviously, um, Tolfin going to communicate or talk sense into Canute. Well. Well, however you see it, those two have a uh, history together. Before Canute was ordained to be king, uh, Tolfin Escalade helped him to be where he is. Maybe he will remember that day and, and maybe this will all work out some way, somehow. But I still think that Tolfin being here is not going to bring him anything but chaos. Unless if Canute decides to leave this kettle farm and go somewhere else, which I don't think it will be uh, in his best interest to leave Keto's farm because that farm flourishes with 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 crops, with fruits, with everything that's, that that gets planted in that farm flourishes. That's the reason why Canute wants it in the first place. But I think I've dragged this on enough. Uh, feel free to let me know what you guys think about this episode. Another emotional roller coaster episode. And till the next episode, episode 21 of 45, stay safe. Keep on keeping on. <laughs>